Oh my god. Is he there? Where the heck did he go? You see his feathers everywhere? Yeah. He lived. Yay. <laughs> He's there? Yeah, I'm really sad. He had his last moment with me, at least. His feathers will never be forgotten. Oh, That's really sad. Following a shadow down to the graveyard I'm gonna say a prayer, gonna pay my dues I've been running wild ever since I left Virginia Trying to find a thing that might be my neon Come on guys, you wanna see the new office? Come on I can see the sunlight rising in the mountains On Jan's in the morning sky I don't think that'll ever get old. How cool is that? How cool is that sign? It was like 10 bucks on Amazon or something. So we have lots to update you guys on. First and foremost, I have kept this plant alive for more than a week. It's amazing how much different it is keeping plants alive when you're not in a moving vehicle. Who would have thought? So yeah, eventually I would like to give you guys a full tour of this space and kind of show you how we got everything. But we have so much going on and we are going to get back to weekly posting on Wednesdays. However, we're actually headed to Gutted. I don't know if you guys know what Gutted is, but pretty much it's this festival that Jamie was built for. We have five days to complete a bus. We have a team of six other, or I guess five other, amazing, amazing people. We have Alyssa from Regretless. Justin from Gilligan Phantom, Devin from Basically Nomads, and then we have another couple guys who have been in the bus life industry for a while now and have built a lot of buses, so I'm just extremely lucky and grateful to be on this team. If you guys want to go, you actually can go and like see us build in person. There's actually tickets to it. It's uh, in Missouri and it's going to be a lot of fun. That's a big reason why we were trying to get this Airstream done in time because we wanted to bring it there, um, but as you can see, the bottom is actually over there in the parking lot, so our Airstream stream isn't even together right now and we leave for gutted in a couple days so we're actually gonna fly there and stay in an RV instead. Jay is currently out with a van. Yes we have a, we have a van as well that we've purchased but we are not keeping that one. We are building that to sell. So yeah he's out getting the VIN verification for that. Also did I mention we got a cat? Yeah we got a kitten. <laughs> Her name's Pixie so it's Pixie and Pippa and they're the sweetest together and I'm excited to show you guys more of them but here's a cute little quick montage for all of you cat lovers out there to help you get your fix. I think slowly they will start to become best friends. Fingers crossed. Pixie's obsessed with Pippa, but Pippa's kind of just like, what is this thing following me around that is obsessing over me and my beauty? She goes like this with her tail up. That's enough. All right, <laughs> let's get to the building. Where we last left you, we just lifted the Airstream using these and the trailer was removed. After lifting the airstream, Jay built braces to lower it back down onto so it wasn't just hanging midair. Oh yeah! We brought it back down, and that's when the real dirty bit began. Jay had to remove the outer shell to finally get to the rest of the subfloor. If you miss the fireworks, you gotta freak out. If you ever want to get some anger out, let me tell you. The best thing to do would be buy a 1971 Airstream.
Jay kept at it and quickly chipped away at the trailer until he was left solely with the cross members. Stone. 25 bucks. Wow, steel. He removed all the extra rust and treated the frame with a rust oleum metal primer and rust oleum gloss enamel before welding on two completely new cross members for better support. And that really got the sparks between us and the Airstream flying. Jay used aluminum to create a new base for the floor before insulating it and being just an absolute lunatic with how fast he put up the subfloor. Honestly guys, I'll leave for an hour to edit a video and come back and there's a completely new thing done. Jamie is just so fast and yeah, he's an animal. Wow, look at that. Looks awesome. So you gotta screw it down a little bit. Feels kind of weird to be painting a subfloor, but apparently this is gonna be exposed to the elements more. So we gotta protect it from that. And also another thing that I feel like we haven't really talked about much is that we didn't really do a roof raise. We're just calling it that because you literally have to lift the shell off of the Airstream to get to the subfloor and rebuild it and then have to put it back on after. So we're not actually adding any height with what we did to the Airstream shell. We're just, that's just how you have to do it. And yeah, it was shocking for us too when we learned that. So Jay asked for some samples and this company like ended up sending us literally three books of just samples of flooring. So that's all I have for you guys today. I will see you again in two weeks if I don't see you at Gutted. It's gonna be a fun one. I'm nervous because I'm gonna be with such skilled builders and obviously I'm not a skilled builder, but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a great way for me to push myself and to just watch Jay be a beast and show everyone the true beast that he is. So yeah, I'm excited. Hope to see some of you guys there. All right, bye. I look pale. Promise I'm wearing a shirt. It's just down there and it's tan. I don't know why I wore a tan shirt. Your fart reached me all the way over here. Are you serious? You're gonna blame the Airstream on your fart. My seat's been taken. Pippa's also a big fan of the shelves. Aren't you, Pips? What do you think, huh? Hide look at the world. Is every steady change? Lord, give me wings so I could fly away to life.